Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior aka the Delay God and I'm back with another video Now today I got another dribble move request for y'all But as y'all can see I got the big mascot on right now, you know what I'm saying? I hit Elite 3 a couple of days ago on stream, bro If y'all did not show up to the stream, man, y'all missed out, man I hit, I streamed for the very first time A lot of y'all keep telling me, yo, stream, yo, stream like, When are you gonna stream? I finally stream We hit Elite 3 on stream here we go, we got the mascot on, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys missed the stream or you want to know when I'm streaming again, be sure to follow me on Mixer. My link is in the description. I stream on Mixer. I will start to stream on Twitch as well, so I will stream on Mixer and Twitch. I'll I'll create a uh, stream schedule and I'll figure out how I'm going to do it, when I'm going to stream on Mixer, when I'm going to stream on Twitch. But I will be streaming on both, so be sure to follow me on both of them. Link is in the description, okay? Now... I got another gym move request for y'all as y'all can see. I was in my Instagram DMs a couple of days ago and boy, I was surprised by how many DMs I had. I was so shocked with the amount of DMs I had for my subscribers. It was absolutely crazy. I tried to respond to as much of them as possible. I still have a few more to respond to, but I tried my best to respond to most of them, okay? So he sent me a clip of a YouTuber. I think it was Dino. Yeah, it was Dino. And what he did was a fake momentum drag snap. In the corner and shot a three, okay? Now he sent me a uh, clip of that and he asked me how to do that, okay? So, <clears throat> before we get into the actual dribble tutorial though, let me show you guys my sig signature styles that I use right now because a lot of you keep asking me for that. And I've changed them a lot of times after patch 10. So the signature styles that I'm rocking with right now, the dribble style is Chris Paul. Size up package, Pro 2, moving crossover, Pro 2, moving behind the back, Pro 6, moving spin, Pro 4, moving hesitation, Pro 3, and triple threat style, WNBA 2. Now for my hot jumper, I use normal 21 because it's a combo hot jumper. Um, it's one of the best hot jumpers in the game, okay? <clears throat> now with that being said, let's jump right into the actual dribble tutorial, okay? Now to do this move, it's basically like doing a momentum cross. If you know how to do the momentum cross, it's, it's going to be extremely easy for you, okay? All right? Now, doing this move in both corners, right corner, left corner, is going to be different from doing it, uh, like, say, at the top of the three-point line, okay? So I'm going to start the dribble tutorial by showing you guys how to do it from the top of the three-point line. Now, I'm assuming that your controls or your dribble controls are already on absolute. 2K has that as a default. It's the best way to dribble. I'm assuming you already have no absolute. Let's jump on into the dribble tutorial, okay? So the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever counts you're on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the right, and then you're gonna flick the left stick diagonally upwards and release everything. It's really that simple. Just like a momentum, but with the momentum, you're gonna hold the left stick up so you could actually finish the momentum. With this move, you're trying to not let your player do the momentum. So before you even see your player does the momentum move, release everything. You don't want him to finish the momentum move. So just do it like you're going to do a momentum and then just release everything immediately, okay? I'm going to repeat that one more time. The ball is in your right hand. You're at the top of the three-point line. What you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick to the left and then you're going to flick the left stick diagonally upwards to the left and then you're going to release everything, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. The ball is in your left hand. You're at the top of the three-point line. You're going to make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick to the right. Then you're going to flick the left stick diagonally upwards to the right. And then you're going to release everything. It's really that simple. Like I said, you want to release everything on your control before your player actually does the momentum cross, okay? If you pay close attention, you will see that the player actually starts to do the momentum cross and then he just stops and does a sham guard snap. Okay, because like I said, it's the same exact way to do a momentum cross, but you're just ending the animation before he actually finishes it. All right, now let's say you're in the left corner this time, like from the clip that the guy sent me, he was in the left corner. Let's see, in the left corner, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so what you're going to do, let's see, in the left corner, the ball is in your right hands. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on, then you're going to flick the left stick. I mean the right stick to the left and then you're going to push the left stick straight upwards and release everything. Now the reason why you're flicking the left stick straight upwards this time and not diagonally to the left is because you're already you're in the corner, okay? The right stick is the only thing that's absolute, all right? The left stick has to be camera relative because that's what you use to move your play around. Your left stick cannot be absolute. It's going to be camera relative because that's what you move your player with, okay? So the only thing that's camera relative is your, is absolute, I mean, is your right stick. All right, so doing this move in the corner is a little, is a little bit tricky because if you're, if you're starting with the ball away from the baseline, what you're going to do is you're going to flick your left stick upwards, okay, to do this move. Now, if you're starting with the ball, the ball hand that's closest to the baseline, you're going to do a regular momentum, okay? So let's say you're on the left side of the court and the ball is in your left hands. What you're going to do is you're going to pull the left stick 
to the right, okay? And if the ball is in your right hand, you're gonna push your left stick upwards. If you're on the right side of the court and the ball is in your right hands, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the left stick to the left and if the ball is in your left hands, you're gonna push your left stick straight up. It's a little bit tricky. As long as you guys understand that concept, you'll, you'll, you're good to go, okay? So, let me repeat that one more time. You're in the right corner, I mean the left corner. The ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. It's the same thing on both consoles. You're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then you're gonna push, then you're gonna flick the left stick straight upwards and release everything. He's gonna do the chamois, all right? All right, so let's say the ball is in your left hand this time. You're in the left corner. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the right. Then you're gonna flick the left stick to the, to the right as well. Then you're gonna release everything. Pretty, pretty simple, all right? Repeat that one more time. You're in the left corner with the ball in your left hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the right, flick the, the left stick to the right as well, and then you release it, okay? Now, wait, now, once you're in the corner and you're flicking the left stick, you don't wanna flick it diagonally at this point because you're in the corner, okay? You're in the corner, so you're just gonna flick the left stick straight diagonally to the right. You're not gonna do it diagonally upwards, you're gonna do it straight diagonally to the right for this, okay? Now you could try to do it diagonally upwards, it might work diagonally upwards, but for it to be consistent, you wanna push it directly to the right once you're in the corner, okay? And when you're doing it with the opposite ball hand, you push it straight up, not diagonally to left or right, you push it straight up, okay, because you're in the corner, all right? Also, if you find yourself struggling doing this move, what you're gonna wanna do is just uh, push your left stick whichever direction you need to push it for whatever position you are in the court. Push it a little bit longer, okay? And because you might be releasing it too early. What I noticed when I was doing this as well is if you release the left stick too, too early, he's not gonna do it, okay? But you don't want to hold it too long at the same time because he's actually going to finish the momentum cross. So just hit the micro wherever you need to do and practice it and then you'll get it right. But just remember that, okay, once you're trying to do this move. Alright, so let's say the ball is in your right hands, you're in the right corner. What you're going to do is going to make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flick the right stick to the left and then you're going to pull the left stick directly to the left and then just release everything immediately, okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time. You're in the right corner with the ball in your right hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the left and then you're gonna push the left stick to the left and release it immediately, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. Now, the ball is in your left hands this time. You're in the left corner, I mean the right corner with the ball in your left hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT, R2, whichever console you're on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the right and then you're gonna push the left stick directly upwards okay now remember what i said before about it being close to the baseline and opposite you, you listen you remember what i said just remember that okay that's why it's different all right so let me repeat that one more time again okay the ball is in your left hands this time okay not the right your left hands and you're on the right side of the court you're on the you're in the right corner what you're gonna do is make sure you're holding rtr2 what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the right and then you're gonna flick the left six directly upwards and then just release everything okay remember what i said earlier about being with which hand is in i'm repeating one more time if the ball is in the hand that's closest to the baseline you're gonna do a regular momentum cross but you're not gonna push the left stick diagonally you're just gonna push it directly in the direction you would push it to do a regular momentum cross now if the ball is in the hand that's furthest away from the baseline then you're gonna push your left stick directly upwards okay i hope you guys understand that and once you got that you're good all right so the name of the subscriber that requested this move was combo cage on instagram hopefully this video did help you out i made this video for you and anybody else watching this video hopefully this video helped you out as well okay if it did be sure to drop a like on this video comment subscribe if you're new now look if you're looking for other dribble tutorials and also i have a link in the description to a playlist called nba 2k20 tips and tutorials playlist that link is in my description. In that playlist right there, I have a bunch of different other dribble tutorials. I'm talking about tons and tons of dribble tutorials for NBA 2K20. You're probably looking for a move right now. You're trying to learn how to do a new move right now that you've been seeing. It's probably already in that playlist, so I recommend you go ahead and check that playlist out. You might see some dribble moves in there that you're looking for. Once again, combo cage. Hopefully this video helps you out. And, then, and anybody else watching, follow me on Mixer and Twitch. I will be streaming soon. My name is King Superior, and I'll holler at you guys later, man. Peace.